So is that the only problem? Like, when else can game design become unethical? Uh, well, I personally think it's not limited to what kind of gore content or what kind of rape content you put in a game. I think it can actually get down to the core mechanics of a game. If you take uh, particularly games like World of Warcraft, which is in the MMORPG genre, uh, this is a genre that was born out of you know Dungeons and Dragons and die rolls and that sort of stuff, and then it went through a, a phase of you know needing these kinds of mechanics because the graphics weren't good enough to support it. Uh, but now we're we're past those technical limitations, mm. but they still have those mechanics, and that's because the goal of the game is to keep you in the game, not for you to have fun. And if you talk to someone who's played World of Warcraft for 10 hours straight, they'll say, yeah, you know, I really didn't feel like I had fun. That's because it's not really a game, it's, it's more of a hobby, and if you really break the mechanics down, they're very similar to gambling. Every action has a small chance of great reward, and there's never a sense of closure. The rewards are always dangled in front of you like a carrot on a stick. There's never a sense of winning. And if you ask me, these types of gambling mechanics, that should be R-rated. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, because it's basically like the pokies. You're not allowed to take kids in there. That's exactly. why they stay out in the car. And a lot of people... <laughs>